Welcome to the series of how this rendering was made. Today we are going to analyze this project made by the architect Hossein from Iran. He started modeling the base of the building from the information he found on the internet using three dismal software together with the Ray Fire plugin. By installing this plugin, we added a very interesting and useful modifier for 3 Dr. Max, which is called Bricks Ray Fear. This plugin is one of the fastest and easiest ways to build mosaics for the building. To model the terrain, first, created a plan in 3D Max and then edited it with the existing options in Edit Poly, such as Soft Selection. After using in 3D DMAX, he transferred the terrain to his brush software. He saved the terrain as Displacement Map and Normal Map. Finally, he returned the terrain to 3DS Max. For the camera position, he imported the reference photo into 3D DMAX and then compared the camera to the scene. For the lighting, he used two drees. First, from PG Skies by Peter Guthrie, this HDRI that gave him a great blue tone for the ambient lighting. The second, from No Emotion, this is the HDRI closest to the reference photo. And for the interior lighting, he used V-Ray Light Spheres. To create fabrics, I use Marvelous Designer software because the simulation in this software is simple and gives high quality results. After making the cloth, to optimize it, I transfer it to brush software and use the decimation master command. One of the difficult parts of this project was the simulation of trees, but it became easy with the help of speed tree software. This software is a good option to make any kind of tree. We just need to know what kind of tree we want and then let the software do it for us. There is no need to make all the trees, just a few main trees would be enough. The scatter plugin takes care of filling the scene. There are many different ways to model rocks in 3D DMAX. The script Rock Generator is a good option. The software Megaskins helps to create materials and the software Megaskins Bridge allows to import ready-made models from Quixel Megaskins to many software and rendering engines. In Megaskins Studio, we see floor textures. And in Megaskins Bridge, we see 3D D models for use in V-Ray. The T-Dipper, he modeled it in 3D DMAX and transferred it to the software's brush to add details. The other models were downloaded from Evermotion. I scattered the leaves on the stairs using the Fisk Spainter script. This script can simulate realistic movement. To disperse the trees and bushes, they use the multi-scatter plugin. This plugin works great to disperse and paint on the model. I leave you this image where you can see all the settings they used for their renders. And in this one, all the passes taken for their post-production. One of the most important things to make a project look interesting and realistic is to add details. After rendering in post-production, they corrected the light and color. We leave you with the final images, but first if you found the video interesting please like and subscribe to analyze more projects.